But first, tonight at 5.30, an eerie flashback. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Megan O'Rourke. It's hard to forget the deputy hopper ambush, and it almost happened again in Clark County. This time, the sheriff says a disturbed man shot at deputies during a five-hour-long standoff in the 12,000 block of Jason Drive. Jordan Burgess is live with what deputies say you can learn from this incident. The sheriff tells me things should have never gotten to this point if somebody would have just stepped in earlier and made sure the man involved didn't have guns in the house. And he wants to make sure you don't make the same mistake. The man you see walking out of this home doesn't look dangerous, but neighbors say with a weapon in his hand, he was terrorizing a community. I'm afraid of flying bullets, you know. I mean, these trailers aren't that, you know, they're thin. Deputies say what made things even more frightening is that they didn't know what 85-year-old Billy Bruce was doing because he didn't know what he was doing. This man, uh, in his current mental state, should not have had firearms. Days later, any evidence of the shootout that happened at this home is gone, but the standoff is still fresh in the minds of neighbors. He was just in that bad state of mind. He was just out of it. Melissa is the one who called for help after her granddaughter heard gunshots. And all of a sudden, kaboom, and she slammed the door and said, Grandma, somebody's out here shooting. Deputies say the salvo was Bruce's second of the night, but the closest call was yet to come. Shot fired, shot fired. Deputies say when they showed up, Bruce pointed a gun at them, causing one deputy to open fire. This is a dangerous combination. A man who was uh, not in complete control of himself, armed with multiple weapons and ammunition. Once back inside, deputies say Bruce fired a shot at them with this gun. Finally, tear gas got him to surrender. The sheriff says this shows why you have to be careful about who has access to weapons. Every person has a responsibility to try and keep weapons out of the hands that those are mentally incompetent and uh, suffering from illness. Right now, Bruce is at Clark County's mental health facility. He could face charges for inducing panic and aggravated menacing, but officials tell me they just want to make sure he gets the help he needs. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.